What is up, amigos? With all this talk of Musk Rusk housing Zuckerberg, we thought, who is more aerodynamic? That's right. You can settle your differences without resorting to fisticuffs. And that's why we have these two figures here, Musk and Zuckerberg, with a Y plane going through them. And despite them looking quite similar, they're both humans, their wake is very different. For example, right here, you can see that the blue, which is corresponding to the wake of both Musk and Zuckerberg, are very different. Behind the back, Musk, for some reason, is much greater, whereas for Zuckerberg, there is not nearly as much, and through the legs, there's a little bit more of a fast-moving flow going through. That indicates that Zuckerberg might be a little bit less draggy than Musk. Let's look into this further. Looking at it from this angle, Big Boy Zuckerberg seems to have a little bit more of a wake from his arms than Big Boy Musk. So you can see here that the wake from Musk's arms are not only a bit smaller, but it actually goes down at an angle. This tells us also that the lift coefficient of Musk is 0.2, whereas Zuckerberg is only minus 0.016, so almost nothing. What this means is that Musk is producing more lift than Zuckerberg. And that makes a lot of sense because Musk is into rockets, whereas Zuckerberg is not. You need lift for rockets or thrust more accurately. So that indicates that Musk is really taking on his persona of his work. Looking at the pressures going through this plane, interestingly, obviously both of them have low pressure behind them and high pressure at the front, but on top of their heads, they both experience the local minima of pressure. And also behind Zuckerberg's legs, for some reason there is a little bit of a lower pressure, I think, than for Musk's. That would indicate that we have more drag produced by Zuck's legs than Musk's legs. Now looking at these Z planes going from their feet upwards, when we hit the midway section, so like their waist, you can really see the difference in the wakes. So Musk has a much bigger wake, it extends far more downstream, it's far worse than Zuck's. This is partly because of their midsection, their torso, but also what they're wearing. Musk likes to wear suits more than Zuck. Zuck likes to wear regular t-shirts. So that hugs your finger a bit better, whereas the suit, the lapels at the front, create this separation pattern that increases your wake. So I can tell you that the drag coefficient of Musk is 0.61, whereas the drag coefficient of Zuckerberg is 0.47. So Zuckerberg is actually less draggy than Musk, but Musk produces more lift. If we were to calculate their efficiency for lift to drag ratio, Musk actually comes out ahead at 0.33, whereas Zuck's only got about zero. So that's pretty good for Musk in terms of his SpaceX idea, in terms of just generally getting around in terms of drag, you may want to go for more of a Zuckerberg approach. Now we have streamlined orbits of Musk and Zuck, and I've done two different colors. The red are streamlines that come from upstream. The blue ones are from directly behind in the wake. And the red ones, there aren't too much of a different, there aren't too many differences between them. But for the blue ones, there is definitely quite a big difference. So generally speaking, in the leg region of Zuck, the vortex that we find behind is really up around the back of the thighs, whereas for Musk, it's more around where the knees and calves are. And this is probably because for Zuck, he's standing with his legs slightly apart. That means you have air flowing through between his shins, and that reduces the wake there. Now, if we were to move up a little bit further to the hip region, the chaoticness is a little bit more for Zuck than Musk, maybe a little bit. And then when we go to the head region, actually the vortex that comes around is more standing off of Musk's shoulders than for Zuckerberg, which is more around his neck and head. So that is quite a big difference in the flow physics that we are seeing here. And as I mentioned, Zuck is better in terms of his drag coefficient, whereas Musk is better for in terms of his efficiency. So if you liked it, make sure to like this video and let me know in the comments below which you would rather be if you'd rather have low drag like Zuck or a high efficiency like Musk. And if you want to see more like this, subscribe. And if you want to get better at CFD and or theory yourself, check out our courses in the link in the description. I'll see you next video. Peace out, amigos.